Hello everyone, I am Muhammad Hamama, and this is your ASCP preparation camp. In this camp, we will proceed with an explanation of all ASCP lectures from its reading list. In our first video, we will have an introduction to hematopoiesis. Hematopoiesis is a continuous, regulated process of blood cell production and maturation of all of the functional blood cells. In adults, hematopoiesis occurs in the bone marrow, but during fetal development, hematopoiesis initiates in the yolk sac and then progresses in the mesoblastic phase, then to the hepatic phase, and finally resides in the bone marrow which is known as a medullary phase. Mesoblastic phase Begins around the 19th day of embryonic development, cells from the mesoderm migrate to the yolk sac. Some form primitive erythroblasts, while others form angioblasts, which surround the cavity of the yolk sac, and eventually form blood vessels. These primitive erythroblasts produce hemoglobin, Gower-1, Gower-2, and Portland, which is needed for oxygen delivery to rapidly developing embryonic tissues. Cells of mesodermal origin also migrate to the aortogonad mesonephros region and give rise to hematopoietic stem cells for adult hematopoiesis. Hepatic phase Begins at 5 to 7 gestational weeks and is characterized by recognizable clusters of developing erythroblasts, granulocytes, and monocytes colonizing the fetal liver, thymus, spleen, placenta, and then the bone marrow space in the final. The developing erythroblasts signal the beginning of definitive hematopoiesis with a decline in primitive hematopoiesis of the yolk sac. Lymphoid cells begin to appear. The hepatic phase reaches its peak by the third month, then gradually declines after the sixth month, retaining minimal activity until one to two weeks after birth. The thymus becomes the major site of T cell production, while the kidney and spleen produce B cells. Production of megakaryocytes also begins. Medullary phase. Hematopoiesis begins in the bone marrow about the fifth month of fetal development. Hematopoietic stem cells and mesenchymal cells migrate into the core of the bone. The mesenchymal cells differentiate into structural elements, such as endothelial cells and reticular adventitial cells that support the developing blood cells. By the end of 24 weeks gestation, the bone marrow becomes the primary site of hematopoiesis. Measurable levels of erythropoietin, granulocyte colony stimulating factor, granulocyte macrophage colony stimulating factor, and hemoglobins F and A, can be detected. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, activate notifications to get our new videos. If you like our content please press the like button, and share the video with your friends. If you have any questions leave a comment below. Adult Hematopoietic Tissue In adults, hematopoietic tissue is located in the bone marrow, lymph nodes, spleen, liver, and thymus. We will talk about each one of them and we will start with bone marrow. One of the largest organs in the body, located within the cavities of the bones. Normal bone marrow contains two major components. The red marrow is the hematopoietically active marrow consisting of developing blood cells and their progenitors. Yellow marrow, hematopoietically inactive marrow composed primarily of adipocytes, fat cells, with undifferentiated mesenchymal cells and macrophages. The second hematopoietic tissue is the liver. The major site of blood cell production during the second trimester of fetal development. In adults, liver hepatocytes have many functions, including protein synthesis and degradation, coagulation factor synthesis, carbohydrate and lipid metabolism, drug and toxin clearance, iron recycling and storage, and hemoglobin degradation in which bilirubin is conjugated and transported to the small intestine for eventual excretion. The liver can maintain hematopoietic stem and progenitor cells to produce various blood cells, called extramedullary hematopoiesis, as a response to infectious agents or in pathologic myelofibrosis of the bone marrow. Next of the hematopoietic tissue, we have spleen. The largest lymphoid organ in the body. 
It is vital but not essential for life and functions as a filter of the circulating blood. It has three types of splenic tissue, white pulp, red pulp, and a marginal zone. The white pulp consists of scattered follicles with germinal centers containing lymphocytes, macrophages, and dendritic cells. Aggregates of T lymphocytes surround arteries that pass through these germinal centers. Activated B lymphocytes are also found in these germinal centers. The marginal zone surrounds the white pulp and forms a reticular meshwork containing blood vessels, macrophages, memory B cells, and CD4 and T cells. Red pulp, a sponge-like matrix that functions as a filter for blood passing through the region. This matrix is a stressful environment that leads to the removal of aged red blood cells from the spleen. Lymph nodes are another hematopoietic tissue. They are organs of the lymphatic system, they contain foci of activated B cells, T cells, and numerous macrophages. Lymph nodes have three main functions, they are a site of lymphocyte proliferation from the germinal centers, they are involved in the initiation of the specific immune response to foreign antigens, and they filter particulate matter, debris, and bacteria entering the lymph node via the lymph. The last hematopoietic tissue is thymus. At birth, the thymus is an efficient, well-developed organ. It consists of two lobes, divided into lobules. That the lobules are subdivided into two areas, the cortex and the medulla. Both areas are populated with the same cellular components, lymphoid cells, mesenchymal cells, reticular cells, epithelial cells, dendritic cells, and many macrophages. The thymus also contains other cell types, including B cells, eosinophils, neutrophils, and other myeloid cells. Next in this video, we will discuss hematopoietic stem cells and cytokines. Colonies of hematopoietic stem cells seen in the spleen were called colony-forming units spleen, they are capable of self-renewal and the production of differentiated progeny. The hematopoietic stem cells represent committed myeloid progenitors or colony-forming units granulocyte, erythrocyte, monocyte, and megakaryocyte. These cells are capable of giving rise to multiple lineages of blood cells. The common lymphoid progenitor, which proliferates and differentiates into T, B, and natural killer lymphocyte and dendritic lineages, and the common myeloid progenitor, which proliferates and differentiates into individual granulocytic, erythrocytic, monocytic, and megakaryocytic lineages. Cytokines and Growth Factors A group of specific glycoproteins called hematopoietic growth factors or cytokines regulates the proliferation, differentiation, and maturation of hematopoietic precursor cells. Cytokines are a diverse group of soluble proteins that have direct and indirect effects on hematopoietic cells, including interleukins, lymphokines, monokines, interferons, chemokines, and colony stimulating factors. They are responsible for the stimulation or inhibition of the production, differentiation, and trafficking of mature blood cells and their precursors. Cytokines also prevent hematopoietic precursor cells from dying by inhibiting apoptosis. Growth factors As KIT ligand, also known as stem cell factor, is an early acting growth factor, its receptor is the transmembrane protein, KIT. The binding of the KIT ligand to the KIT receptor triggers it to stimulate the cell to proliferate. FLT3 is also another kind of receptor that responds to FLT3. Thank you for completing the video, remember to ask for ASCP short notes, and don't forget to subscribe, bye.